Black bars on movies are one of the most frustrating things when trying to watch a movie on any of your TV screens at this point in time. So why put up with movie black bars when you can have life without them? So there are three ways to remove black bars from your movies. The first two are decent, but far from the special third option, which is a permanent solution and by far my personal favourite. But first up, watching a movie in a program, for example, like VLC, allows you to zoom in so you can remove the black bars on the top and bottom, but it means you lose the sides of the movie. So that's not something that I can massively advise, uh, because movies are ultra wide for a reason. They're wider so you can fit more on screen, so zooming to remove those black bars on the top and bottom, you don't really want to do it. You could lose some of the sides of the screen. But that's the first option. Secondly, you could stretch the movie, so you stretch it upwards and downwards, and it's less painful in my opinion, as opposed to zooming, as you aren't actually losing anything on screen, but now everything looks distorted, and so it won't satisfy many people. Option 2.5 is you could mix a bit of stretch and a bit of zoom together, which is potentially the best way of doing it instead of just doing option 1 or option 2. So you're slightly distorted and you're slightly losing some on the side, some view on the sides of the screen, but it's, it's a compromise. However, this is option 3. This is a 21 by 9 monitor. This is the future of home entertainment. It essentially has the same aspect ratio as a movie, meaning it is ultra wide, so there are no black bars. There's no need to stretch the video, there's no need for zooming. You simply play it as if you were at the cinema. So for more information on these screens, check out my channel. Check the description for links to a number of the top 21x9 monitors on the market at the moment. Have a good day.